welcome to the OCT lab. I would like to show you the experimental side of our work and how actually it, an OCT system looks like. Uh, behind me is an, a standard commercially available system that we modified a little bit and this system uses a wavelength of 1.3 micrometer. Why I am mentioning it? Because Depending on the wavelength that the OCT system is using, we can obtain different information from the sample depth. OCT system is based on the interferometry principle, and, uh, which means we split our light into two parts. The first part illuminates the sample, where the other part is preserved as a reference. When the light illuminates the sample, what happens is that it partially reflects from the surface, which we can see here from the very bright reflection. But part of the light, if our sample has suitable optical properties, will penetrate into the depth. And in this case, what we see here, it's a virtual cross-section of our sample showing us differently arranged glass fibers embedded in polymer matrix. Because we are using relatively large wavelength of 1.3 microns, we can penetrate also relatively uh, deep into the sample, sacrificing a little bit of the depth resolution. The OCT system, as you can see here, this is the most important part of the OCT system. This is the part that is responsible for the interaction of the light with our, with our object. Here we have placed all the optical elements as well as the elements responsible for control of the position of our laser beam across the sample surface. So here it's all the control that allows us for acquisition of the A scans. Everything else, so the interference of the sample and the reference beam, as well as, as the spectroscopic analysis, it's happening in the black box hidden uh, under this table. As you can see already here, this is a very flexible system because I can use whatever light source I want, suitable light source, of course, I need for my application. And also I can construct the OCT head so it fits to my needs. I can change the optics, allowing me for larger scan sizes. I can attach to it to a, a movable arm so I can scan it across large surfaces or in the suitable positions. Now talk, going back to the flexibility concerning the selection of the light source. This system is using 1.3 microns. As I said, the depth resolution allows us to see large objects relatively deep into the surface, but we cannot see more of the details. The same sample I imaged previously, and the image is shown here on this system, uh, but this, this system uses a light with central wavelength of 900 nanometers. It, it means I have much higher depth resolution, and in this case I can see actual the single glass fibers arranged in different bundles going perpendicular to our B-scan and parallel to the B-scan. Of course, you can see immediately the difference. In this case, I can see maybe two to three layers of the bundles, where in the other system we've seen at least six of them. However, it shows you the wide range of possibilities you may have with this method. Everything depends on your needs and your material and how fast you want to get the necessary information. Everything else can be very flexibly designed by us. Thank you for your attention.